Human insulin can be produced by transferring the human insulin gene into bacteria. The human insulin gene is bordered on each side by a specific sequence of bases, GAATTC. A special enzyme added by a scientist recognizes this sequence and cuts the DNA on either side of the insulin gene. This isolates the insulin gene and leaves two segments of bases on either side. These segments are called sticky ends because they will bind to DNA segments that have complementary bases. The insulin gene is now ready for insertion into bacterial DNA. Bacteria carrying the gene for tetracycline resistance are used to hold the insulin gene. Plasmids are circles of DNA separate from the main strand of bacterial DNA. The plasmid DNA is removed from the bacterium and treated with the same enzyme used to cut out the human insulin gene. The enzyme cuts the plasmid DNA at the GAATTC sequence. The two ends are sticky, just like the ends on the human insulin gene. The insulin gene is mixed with the cut plasmid DNA. Complementary bases pair up. With the help of the enzyme DNA ligase, the DNA backbones are joined. The human insulin gene is now part of the bacterial DNA plasmid. The plasmid is then reinserted into a bacterial cell. Cells containing the insulin gene can be identified because they are no longer resistant to tetracycline. The resistance gene has been cut and no longer functions. The bacterial cell grows and divides. Each new bacterial cell produces human insulin from the human gene carried on the plasmid. The insulin is purified and used to treat people with the disease diabetes.